Hello everybody, today is Monday, May 2nd. It's 3.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're just about seven or eight minutes before the regular session closed today. Quite a fantastic day for the auto trader. Want to bring over the time and sales. The E-mini S&P currently trading at 2074.50. And my computer clock here, you can see what time it is. Uh, just want to let everybody know that we never use market replay in our recordings. All our recordings are of the day as it unfolded and in uh, the speed of the market. Nothing is uh, sped up. Nothing, you know, it's not a video of the uh, of the settings because a video played back could be manipulated. So uh, we do it this way so as to show that we don't manipulate our videos. Uh, as further testimony to that, we're probably the only vendor that actually labels our trades so that you know that this trade here uh, took place today, whereas if I go back to a previous day, you see that there's an H next to the trade. That means it's a historical trade and that the chart has been refreshed. If I were to take today's trades here and refresh the chart, they would all have an H next to them. So what that means is that whatever I'm showing here, the chart has not been refreshed. It can only look this way uh, as it unfolded. It cannot be manipulated in any way shape or form and that's another reason I bring over the time and sales is to show that the prices are ticking off at the speed of the market this is not sped up at you know 50 times or 100 times market replay this is actually as the market is trading right now uh, e even as I'm recording this this is how trading is going off right now in real time okay so before I go any further first the required disclaimer Okay, so another thing, we make our videos in a particular way to show the maximum transparency. Uh, I, I know my competitors and nobody shows their videos like we do. M many competitors conceal the uh, time and price axis. Um, it might be in their charts, but it's, it's grayed out or in such a light shade that you really can't see it or it's so small you can't see it. So, so people hide things because they manipulate their videos. A few vendors in particular, not gonna mention any names here, but I might later. In any case, once again, we do try to do the maximum transparency. Okay, today, first we have the gold contract on the BWT Superango 6 tick and uh, this hit its goal today there was one small loser at the beginning. You, you can see here the drawdown was only uh, maybe $100, $150, $200 or so. And then that was followed by, well, here's four winners in a row. And I think there's one more here. So five winners in a row to hit its daily goal of $1,500. And notice that the difference between the daily goal and the loss limit is I often offset it by approximately 20%, not on all the charts, but most of them, uh, the daily target is greater than the loss limit so that uh, on days that you do get stopped out, you're not losing as much as when you hit your goal. Another thing I want to mention is uh, some people have requested that uh, I show my charts in a certain way. I just want to say that our product is not for everybody. If you don't like the way uh, we do things, then you don't have to buy it or you don't have to follow us. So uh, I'm sorry if I don't meet your expectations. That's just the way things go. As stated earlier, there isn't anybody that's as transparent as Blue Wave Trading and what we show and the way we show it. We now have well over 150 videos, most of them back to back. and. Uh, I don't think anybody matches our record in how many videos, videos we show and consistency of our videos. Okay, next up is the 30-year Treasury bond on the Superenco 6 tick, and this chart has been featured frequently, one of our most consistent performers, and here it is again. There was three trades today. 
two winners and one loser, as you can see here. And it did 1281, which is shy of its profit goal of 2000. And once again, you see our offset here of actually 25%. So uh, the bonds, uh, again, continuing to be very consistent. Next up is the crude oil and the Superenco 7 tick, uh, another chart that is one of our most consistent performers and featured regularly. This one also hit its goal of 1200 with positive slippage on the end. When a system hits its goal, a market order is executed and you do not always get negative slippage. In this case, it was positive slippage of one tick on two contracts, as you can see. And if I go here, you can see our goal, profit goal of 1,200, and again, 20% difference, loss limit of 1,000. Okay, next up is the DAX on the Superenco 14 tick, and this has been shown quite a bit as well. This did not hit its goal, but did 1,000 in profits, and our goal on this is 2000 and there's a 25% differential on the loss limit. Okay, next up is the DAX on the Superenco 8 tick and this is a relatively small time frame for the DAX. This one is using our line break algorithm. If I make these open low high close bars, we can see the line break signals a little bit better and uh, most of my configurations are in fact a limit order. This one has an offset of four ticks. So it's got to buy at the close of the bar plus uh, minus four ticks for a long or plus for a short. So this one uh, did 750 for the day and I think uh, our daily goal on this is in fact 750 with a loss limit of 650 and obviously there was one tick of slippage so this one hitting its goal as well okay this is an interesting chart this is the crude oil on the superenco 10 tick and i'm going to go to open high low close bars here and we can see that when it was wrong here that the losses were very small. This was only uh, six ticks on these couple of trades here. And then we had solid size winners and very small losses on the losers, the way I have this configured. Uh, so this is a chart I've tracked before and kind of brought it back. And I can tell by looking at it uh, I probably need to adjust the first target as that can go much further. So um, anyway, this did 720 for the day. Not too shabby. That's 72 ticks in the crude oil. 36 ticks per contract. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on, on an actual line break chart. And I've also been showing this quite a bit. It only did 400 for the day. Uh, because it's a line break chart, uh, historical testing is completely inaccurate. So I show this uh, starting flat at the beginning of each day. But this has actually done pretty well since I've been tracking it in the last week or so. Uh, it did 400 today. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on the Superenco 4 tick. And this one started trading at the open of the session. And it was up and down quite a bit, but managed to finish the day at 650 profit with these solid winners at the end. So it never was down more than 1,000 because it would have stopped trading. So uh, in any case, it did finish the day. Um, with 650 on two contracts. Most of the E-mini S&P Superenco charts that I'm following 
they have different start times and such did pretty well today this one starts trading at 12 30 p.m and once again this is using our line break algorithm as we can see here and uh, this one hit its goal and did so in a single trade actually as you can see here it went long at 2065 and a quarter and it covered at 2075 on one contract and 2070 on the first contract so quite a solid performance to do this in a single trade caught this uh, obviously some short covering at the end of the market I think I said that this was a Superinco 4 tick and it's actually a Superinco 6 tick on this one next up is a Superinco 4 tick and this one also hit its goal and uh, you can see the difference in the uh, the way the bars formed here over the six tick so there was actually two trades this didn't do it in a single trade there was two trades here and this one also starts trading at 12 30 p.m. okay next up is the e-mini S&P on the Superinco 12 tick and this had a loser and a solid winner at the end here also catching this uh, rally at the end of the day also going long at 65 and a quarter and then covering uh, on one of the contracts 12 points later that's 50 ticks in the e-mini S&P and the second contract uh, covering here at the close okay that's all we have to show you today quite a solid performance for the auto trader today if you'd like to find out more please visit our website or send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com thanks for watching today